Hi, my name is Claudia Sendejas and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my current career and a little bit about my background and how I got here. So my official title is Social Service Worker 3 and I work for a program in the county called Team Parent Connections and I do case management there for pregnant or parenting teens and our goal is to help them connect to resources, get back to school if they're not in school, help them build self-sufficiency, um, despite having a child and this program is really um, close to my heart because I was a teen mom myself and I was actually in Teen Parent Connections at the age of 16 and I feel that I am where I am today because of that program. It created um, a place where I could go for support and I had my social worker who I love, Aurora. Um, she was so supportive and helpful and before that, uh, I don't think I ever had a dream of even going to college or even graduating from high school. Um, I had dropped out of high school um, when I was 15. And I was I came here to the US when I was five years old from Mexico. I was born in Michoacan, Mexico. And I was raised in LA. And I got into some trouble and was sent to Mexico, got married really young, came back to the US and at the age of 16, I was pregnant. And um, that's when I think I started to really think about what direction I wanted my life to go. And I was fortunate enough to be connected to the teen parent program. And that's when I met my social worker who I love. And she started talking to me about finishing my high school and what were my goals were. And then I found out I was having a girl and that really motivated me to really start thinking about, you know, school and seeing education as a way out as breaking, you know, generational traumas and generational patterns. So my social worker helped me get into the high school in Cloverdale, which was a bit of a culture shock because I went from LA to Cloverdale and Cloverdale is really a small town and was even smaller back then. And so I just had to like learn how to adjust to all those changes and focus on school. And then I had my daughter and I was like, how am I gonna go to school? And again, my social workers like there's daycare, you would have to go to Healdsburg High School. They have a daycare program there and I wasn't driving at the time. So I had to take the bus to get to school every day. And um, while there, you know, my social worker always talked to me about higher education and she's talked to me, have you thought about going to the JC? And um, what you want to be and I was really scared. I was like, oh, I don't think I'm smart enough or I don't have enough money and then she started talking to me about the Puente program. She took me to the JC and talked to me about financial aid and scholarships and so she really motivated me and got me out of that mentality that I was really in that I couldn't do it and so I enrolled and I enrolled in the Puente program which was also a program that helped me a lot in really creating a support system and a, a place where I didn't feel so lost at school because school, you know, sometimes you can easily get lost in everything that's going on. And so in there, I began to notice what classes really intrigued me. And um, I noticed that I love psychology, all the psychology classes, they were just a passion. And I, I felt like I wanted to work in that field. It's a field that really just called to me. And so I still didn't know exactly where I was going to go, but that was my focus. So then I graduated from the JC and I applied to Dominican University and I was able to get accepted there. I went for a semester there and I just did not like it at all. It was not for me. And so I decided to change schools and go to Sonoma State University. And during my Puente program, I met uh, my best friend and we were able to do all our schooling together after that and I just needed that support system you know because I didn't have that at home and I didn't have that with family and so I was able to create that with her and we both went to Sonoma State and there is where I got my bachelor's in psychology and a bachelor's in uh, Spanish and I still didn't know exactly what direction but that's when I knew that I wanted to work with people and I wanted to work within the community and finding that balance between, you know, family life. By then I had um, two kids and schoolwork, but I just kept focused on what I wanted to do. I knew I began to realize I wanted to be a therapist and started looking into what that required. And I went to um, San Francisco State University 
and I got my master's in marriage family therapy, graduated in 2010. And that program, in addition to getting your master's, in order to get licensed as an MFT, you do need to do 3,000 hours to get license of internships, hours of direct client service. And so I worked on that for a bit. And you also need two state exams um, in order to get licensed. So it's quite a bit of a journey. And I don't think I realized how much that required, you know, until I was in it. And that's something to be aware of, of like all the p different pieces, you know, but the master's itself like opened a lot of doors up for me. Um, that's when I had my third child right after finishing. And so I had to take a pause and with my hours, I was almost complete, had to restart it between then. And currently I'm done with my hours. I've done one of the tests and I'm studying for my last exam. So hopefully I get licensed soon and that's going to open a lot of doors. But one good thing about this degree is that it definitely op um, gives you a variety of options. So even though my degree is in counseling, I was able to apply for social work jobs and a lot of other positions uh, that are open to it. My best friend that I was talking to you and um, Dr. Maria Hess, um, we were able to be co-founders for a clinic, a mental health clinic called Humanidad. And that's because we saw a need for the Latino community, serve, you know, in regards to mental health services, um, different modalities, different ways of doing things. And so we wanted to create that. So in between finishing my hours and working, I also um, did a lot of work in that, currently a board member there. Um, and then um, in about, about seven years ago is when I started working for the county and doing getting into this program. And I love this program. This is a home visiting program, but you can, there's a variety of different um, social work um, positions that you can do different, you know, working with cash aid, um, CPS, there's, there's a variety. The one that I do, I love because it is um, working with teens and helping them create their goals. So our typical day looks like doing home visits. Uh, currently due to COVID, uh, we're doing all via phone, but typically we do, we see the clients about twice a month and we just help them meet them where they're at. What are their needs? What are the resources they need? How can we help them connect them to that? Um, because, you know, sometimes just telling somebody go do this, it's not as easy. So really supporting them in their journey um, is really important. And then part of our work too is doing a lot of charting, you know, um, that we have to keep track of. Um, we have a typically about uh, 25 to 40 clients, depending on our caseload. And, um, you know, it, it varies. And we, and the clients is the mom, uh, if the dad is wants to be involved and then the baby. And so we also help them with parenting, um, you know, creating information around that, um, so I really love the work that I do in, in that regards. Um, and I do think there is a future in this career. If you're interested in this, like I said, there's just a lot of op openings and possibilities that you can go for. You can major in that, but there's a variety of things that you can explore and see where your fit is. And that's what I've done. I've tried a little bit of everything and see where I feel more comfortable and where I, where it fills my heart. And so I'm hoping that once I get my license, that's going to open up a whole nother part for myself. So if you're wanting to look into this field, do as much research, ask people that are in it um, as much as you can. So good luck with your journey and best of, of luck. Thanks.